Young people are getting into a hobby you may associate with an older generation as a way to help connect with each other and connect with nature. Our sister station in Minneapolis tells us what hooked them on bird watching and why they stayed. Well, I mean, this is the spot right here. We all have our happy place. It's a perfect day. <laughs> and for Dan DeBond, it's his apartment patio. It's funny, when I'm out here, I can usually hear them, and I interpret that as like, we want you to go back inside so we can have at it. <laughs> They're ready. The 31-year-old might seem a few decades shy of a bird watcher, but the hobby has really gained flight in the last few years, especially with the millennial and Gen Z set. It was uh, mid-2020 for me, like a lot of people, especially in my age group who have picked up the hobby, looking for something to do during the thick of the pandemic. I bought the crummiest bird feeder, the cheapest thing you could get from Amazon for like nine bucks. It arrived to the apartment already broken, and I pieced it together with scotch tape and I put it up and two weeks later birds started coming and I've been hooked ever since. If you think about it, it totally makes sense. An accidental hobby born out of the pandemic when nature was our only entertainment. And for a generation steeped in preserving our environment, the hobby just fits. And how's this for a birding bonus? It's good for you. What we're finding is that when you feed birds, it lowers your cortisol level. When you listen to bird calls, it releases dopamine. The folks at All Seasons Wild Bird Store say people of all ages have been flocking to their stores, eager to feed both the birds and their mental health. It's not just a feeling, it's science. A study out just this past fall found that listening to bird sounds improve mental well-being for up to eight hours after. Within a couple minutes, usually like that, they're uh, first in line. They're quick. Dan says it's one of the reasons he's become such an advocate for the hobby, even writing a blog to encourage others to get involved. As somebody who's uh, generally an anxious person and has uh, had anxiety for, for practically my whole life, it's been incredibly beneficial for me. It's really changed my world and my life in a very, very positive way. And there's another reason young people are joining the bird watching bandwagon. Technology. There are apps now that help you identify birds and log what you've seen and when. They've also made bird feeders with little built-in webcams, essentially, and they will, I kid you not, a bird will land there and it'll ping on your cell phone, like this bird that we've identified through AI, a cardinal's at your bird feeder, and you can take a picture of it. And that leads us to the most important part of birding for young folks, sharing. Oh, yeah. Yep, you'll even find birders on TikTok. And why wouldn't you want to share something that brings so much joy? Northern Cardinal. I remember the first time one of them came to my feeder and I called my wife over. I was like, honey, there's a Cardinal. I waited so long. A wholesome hobby the whole family can enjoy. Nature and nurture intertwined. They've come to associate me as walking outside. They go, okay, there's going to be fresh food outside. We better go over there. Uh, and that makes me feel good.